Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 3.7, we're going to work on a concept you, known as using tens to subtract. And we're on page 145 of the second grade Go Math textbook. All right. So listen and draw. So circle to show the amount you subtract for each problem. So listen to the question I'm going to read. And I want you to circle which part of the blue line is being subtracted. All right, so listen carefully. Viveron has 13 crayons. He gives three crayons to Tyler. How many crayons does Deveron have now? Okay, so would we add or subtract? We're going to subtract, right? Okay, so he gives three crayons to Tyler. So go ahead and circle the part of the blue line that would show taking away three. So if we start at 13, we're going to take away 1, 2, 3. Okay, so 13 take away 3 would be 10. All right, now listen to this problem. Diane has 17 crayons. She gives 7 crayons to Anthony. How many crayons does Diane have now? So she had 17 and she gave away 7. So, if we're here at 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, and listen to the final problem. James has 12 crayons. He gives two crayons to Cassie. How many crayons does James have now? So he gave away two of his 12. So one, two. So these problems, if we write them out, would be represented as 12 minus 2 is 10. 17 minus 7 is 10. And 13 minus 3 is 10. Okay, so we notice that each of those differences was 10 in this pro in these problems. Okay, so now let's look at page 146. So we can subtract in steps to use a tens fact. Okay, so for instance, 14 take away 6. Well, we can break apart the 6. So we can make a 10. 14 take away what is a 10? Well, we just have to take away from the ones place, right? 4 take away what would be 0? 4. So if we take away 4, we're at 10. And we still have to take away the 2. So 10 minus 2 is 8. And we can show that on the number line. So we started at 14 and we took away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That put us at 10. And we still had to subtract two more. So 1, 2 puts us at 8. 14 take away 6 is 8. All right, show the tens facts you used and write the difference. So 12 take away 5 equals what? Well, 2 take away what would give me 0? 2. So if we break 5 into 2 and 3, we can subtract 12 in two steps. 12 take away 2 is 10, and 10 take away 3 is 7. All right, 11 take away what would give me 10? Well, 1 take away 1 would be giving me a 0, so we'd have 10. So 11 take away 1 is 10, and 10 take away 5 is 5. Don't forget to put the actual answer up in the top line. 15 take away 7. Okay, again, how, how can we turn, what do we have to subtract from 15 to get a 10? Remember, we're focusing on just the ones digit, right? We want the ones digit to be a 0. 
Okay, so that gives us 10. So subtract 5. All right, so 15 take away 5 is 10. That remain, that leaves us two more to subtract. And 10 take away 2 is 8. So 15 take away 7 is 8. 13 take away 7 is what? What do we have to take away thir from 13 to equal 10? We have to take away 3. 13 take away 3 is 10. What's remaining? 4. Because 4 plus 3 is 7, right? Then 10 take away 4 is 6. So 13 take away 7 is 6. Right, let's look at page 147. Show the tens factor you use and write the difference. 13 take away 5. Again, if we are at the number line, we had to use it, and we got to get back to 10. We take away 1, 2, 3. So we're going to break the 5 into 3 and 2. 13 take away 3 is 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. Fifteen take away what would give me a ten? Fifteen take away five. So fifteen take away five is ten. Ten take away one is nine. Twelve take away eight. What do we have to subtract from, subtract from twelve to get a ten? One, two. So let's break eight into two and 6, because 6 plus 2 is 8. 12 take away 2 is 10. 10 take away 6 is 4. So 12 minus 8 is 4. 14 minus 8. What do we have to subtract from 14 to make a 10? 4. And we know that 4 plus 4 is 8. So 14 take away 4 is 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. So 14 minus 8 is 6. 12 minus 6. We have to subtract 2 from 12 to get 10. And then we have 4 left to take away. 10 minus 4 is 6. 16 minus 7. We're going to have to subtract Sorry, we're going to have to subtract 6 to get to 10, and then we're going to subtract 1. So 16 minus 7 is 9. All right, write or draw to explain. Beth has a box of 16 crayons. She gives 7 crayons to Jake and 7 crayons to Wendy. How many crayons does Beth have now? All right, so she had 16. And we have to take away some amount to equal what? Well, she gave away 3, and she also gave away 7. So she gave away 10. So we're going to subtract 10. Okay. Why did we add? Because she gave away 3 to Jake and 7 to Wendy. So we want to find out how many she gave away in total. All right, so 16 take away 10. She now has six crayons. Let's look at page 148. <clears throat> Write number sentences that use both addition and subtraction. Use each choice only once. All right, so they started with 9 minus 2. And that gave them an answer of 7. So which other problem up here has an answer of 7? Well, 3 plus 4. Okay. Now, in 13, 14, 15, you might put the uh, numbers, uh, sentences in different orders than I do. But as long as they, they're they correct on as far as where they're written next to each other, the, the, the that answer is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next one in line which would be 1 plus 4. All right, well, 1 plus 4 
is five. So I need another answer up here that equals five. Well, 14 take away four is 10, 10 take away six is, ah, sorry, 14 take away four is 10, 10 take away two is eight, that's not right. Five and four more, that can't be it. 15 take away six, 15 take away five is 10, 10 take away one is nine. No, 10 take away five, that's five, right? 10 minus five, that's five. All right, so let's cross out one plus four and 10 minus five. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and back up here to 14 minus six. Okay, if we use the strategy that we've been practicing, we would break the six into four and two. And 14 take away four is 10, and 10 take away two is eight. So we need another answer on here that equals eight. Well, five and four, that's nine. 15 take away five is 10, 10 take away one is nine. Oh, four and four, that's eight. So let's cross out four and four and 14 and six. Well, that leaves us only two, two answers left, uh, two number sentences left. 15, five plus four is nine and 15 minus six is nine. All right, and 16, does the number sentence have the same difference as 15 minus seven? All right, well, let's figure out 15 minus seven. What do I have to subtract from 15 to get a 10? I have to subtract five. So five and two is seven. 15 take away five is 10. 10 take away two is eight. So we need a sum or diff uh, we need differences of eight. 10 take away six, that's not eight. That's four. 10 minus two, that's eight. 10 minus four, well, that's six. All right, so that's it for how we can use tens to subtract. Now, obviously the easiest way is just to know your math facts, okay? And the only way to get our math facts is to practice. So set aside 10 minutes a day and just practice your addition and subtraction facts until you know them by memory. All right, and so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.